this with me. I'm Marlo from Wild Food UK out foraging again it's the uh, 19th of June or, or somewhere around there I'm not too sure of the date um, but this is not a plant that I'm foraging for today uh, this is a plant that every forager needs to know about though it's in the carrot family um, the carrot family from a forager's point of view is one of the most interesting families there is it's got some amazing edibles like our our hogweed that we've got here and our ground elder down here and sweet sicily and chervil well chervil's not such a great edible if you ask me um, but plenty of others including carrot but it's also got a dark side and this is basically the prince of the dark side of uh, of the carrot family this is hemlock conium maculatum and you can see it grows quite large. In fact, it's our, our largest native umbellifa. It's an amazing plant, an incredible plant to look at. And you see forests of it. And uh, this little forest of it here has probably got about enough conine, which is the active poison in this plant, or one of the active alkaloids in this plant that will work on your nervous system. There's probably enough here to, to kill a small village um, quite easily. In fact, uh, I'd say a small city, just about. Um, but this is a, a plant that you should know, and I'm gonna tell you how to ID it because it looks quite similar to some of our favorite edibles, sweet sicily being the key one. Sweet sicily is a lovely edible that grows from the sort of Midlands, around the Peak District and further north. Um, it's got amazing tasting seeds and lovely tasting leaves, but it's almost identical to this in look, superficially. So I'll go through hemlock and its key features. First of all, it's got this pinnate or feathery leaf system, which is very similar to uh, chervil um, as well. But chervil, I don't really rate as an edible. It's got a grassy parsley flavor. And if you do want a, a parsley flavor from your wild edibles, go for ground elder, you're much safer. But this pinnate or feathery leaf system, feathery means split or pinnate means split. So it's split once that way twice that way, three times, four times, and then a further fifth time there. Um, chervil won't be split quite so many times, um, but Sweet Sicily can, so how do you tell the difference? First of all, uh, the smell. Hemlock has an awful smell. Well, I think it's quite an awful smell. People describe it as like the bottom of a hamster's cage or a mousy smell, um, I get that. It's not particularly nice, whereas Sweet Sicily has a really lovely smell of aniseed. Um, and the seeds are, are equally the same, they stink of aniseed, whereas the seeds of hemlock just don't smell very nice. Hemlock also has round leaf stems, I don't know if you can make that out there, but it's round and hairless. That's important. And then on the more mature plants, you'll see this purple blotching. You won't see it on the very young stuff. So this isn't like a key identifier, but when you do see it, you can be pretty sure that you've, uh, you've got hemlock. Purple blotching um, is referred to in the uh, scientific name, maculatum. Um, maculatum means not immaculate, and this is not immaculately green. It's got purple blotches and stains all over it. Uh, now, conine, the, uh, the poison in here, or the alkaloid, in here, or one of the alkaloids in here, works on your central nervous system. It's a, a rising poison as well. It sort of starts at your feet in a very strange way. Your feet will start to become numb and cold and spasm a little bit, and that will work its way up your body. Um, this was first described by uh, Plato, writing down what was happening to Socrates as he uh, ingested the poison from this plant. When he was, uh, when he was given his options of execution, he chose hemlock as his. Um, but that rising poison working on your nervous system, when it gets to your chest, it works on your respiratory system and uh, then it will kill you. It's a very, very toxic thing. So no problem in touching it. Don't be scared of this plant. You've seen me. I've already been touching this plant and touched my face a few times. The only way you're going to uh, be poisoned by this plant is, uh, is if you eat it. So don't go chopping it down everywhere you see it. Don't be worried about it. It's a very proud looking plant. It adds to the greenery of the countryside and 
with plenty of insects, love all the flowers that you get on our hemlock plants. Um, I think it's our tallest native umbellifer. The only other one that competes with it, or is taller actually, is giant hogweed, but that's um, a non-native species and it's one that we do, do want to get rid of. If you see giant hogweed, don't touch it, um, but do let somebody know from the environment agency or the local council to, to remove it because it's a dangerous plant to touch. Hemlock is not. Anyway, the dark side of the carrot family. This is a warning to all you foragers. Do not forage for anything that looks like this unless you are 100% sure of what you're doing. Okay, if you want to find out more, go to www.wildfooduk.com.